Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. And our practice today is a memory verse practice. We'll be memorizing scripture as we connect it to our breath. Today's practice is also a restorative practice, so I invite you to maybe find a blanket or some pillows to support you, maybe some blocks, and also some water. It's important to keep our tissues very hydrated as we release the tight muscles and the fascia. Today's scripture verse comes from Paul's letter to the church of Philippi, and he says this to them. He says, my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. In context, the church has been providing for Paul's needs. And Paul says, in turn, my God will provide for you. You can be generous and you can trust that your needs will be provided for. So I invite you today as we memorize this scripture to trust that God will meet your needs, whatever they are, because he has the full resources of heaven and earth at his disposal. And he will do this through the mercy, the forgiveness, the grace of Jesus Christ. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Go ahead and bring your hips to the, um, the mat and set a blanket or pillows up so that you can support your torso and your head. If um, your torso is very long, you can use a block at the edge of that and put your head on the block. So hips still on the ground, go ahead and lie down. Hands at your side. Keep the knees bent as you settle here. I'm just checking in, just kind of notice. How does the body feel here? If it feels really good, if the back feels strong, maybe you can straighten out the legs. Check that out. And again, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Adjust for you throughout this practice. Begin to find your breath. Create expanse with that inhale as you breathe in through the nose. Feel the heaviness of the body with the exhale. Begin to notice the way that the body moves with the breath. Where do you need release today? Jesus reminds us that we do not need to worry about the clothing that we wear, the shelter that we seek, the food that we need. Because just as God provides for the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, he will provide for us. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Gently bend the knees and move the blanket off to the side and out of the way. I invite you to take those knees wide. And gently begin to just drop the knees side to side. So notice any tightness in the IT band and the outside of the hip or the thighs. Any response of the back. Notice whether or not the entire body moves with this or whether it's a lower body move. And as you're ready, drop your knees to the right. So this is a practice where support can be really helpful. So it might feel good to have a blanket underneath that knee that is coming towards the mat, that inside knee. Maybe you don't need that. You know, just find what works for you. And then, if you want more of a stretch up and down the side of the body, go ahead and take that left hand palm down towards the foot, and then reach it up and over. Take a nice big inhale as you stretch that arm overhead, and let the arm come down to the mat. I invite you to turn your head, and you decide, does it feel better to look in the same direction of the legs? 
Or maybe you're going to do a little more neck release and look away from the legs. Find your breath. And notice how the breath moves through the body when the body's a little twisted. And you begin to use the breath to remove the tension. Say the scripture verse. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Maybe today you take a little longer on your exhales. Take five more breaths here. What is the effect of each breath? On that next exhale, draw the belly in. Gently bring the feet up. And I invite you to leave the feet where they are, but let the knees come in. Go ahead and wrap your arms one on top of the other around the body. Take a deep breath here. Switch your arms. Another breath here. Hands out to the side, gently bring the knees over to the other side. Again, support the inside knee if you need to, if that would feel better. Decide if this is enough stretch up and down the side of the body. Or maybe that right hand comes down towards the foot, taking a deep breath in, sweep it, inhale, reach those fingers, and let the back of the hand come to the mat. Can you feel the breath moving up and down the length of the body? Taking a little longer on the exhale, how can the exhale help you release tension? Begin to soften the muscles of the face, the cheeks, the jaw. Maybe create a little bit of space in between your teeth and draw the tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Say the scripture verse. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Notice where your gaze is. Maybe you get an extra neck stretch as you look away from the knees. And I invite you to take five more breaths here.
On that next exhale, draw the belly in, bring the back to center. Again, walking those feet out wide, bring the knees in. Wrap one arm on top of the other, elbows to the skies, the hands wrap around your rib cage. Take a breath. And again, deep breath in as the arms come out and up and over and cross the other arm on top. One breath here. I invite you to come up to sitting. Pressing into your hands. It up. Go ahead and bring your right leg out to the side. And if you have a blanket or a pillow, maybe you bring it into your hip crease. Bounce the knee a little bit and windshield wiper the foot and then activate the muscles of the leg. And exhale forward and inhale back a few times. Just exploring, noticing what's happening in the back, what's happening in the leg. And then as you're ready, come forward and find your stretch. So some options would be to support underneath the knee with a block if your hamstrings are very tight. If you're fairly flexible, maybe you cross your wrists, wrap around that foot, begin to draw the elbows back towards the rib cage as the head drops. Shake your head out, no and yes, releasing tension in the neck. Inhale, length through the spine. Create a little more space between each of the vertebra. Notice where there's tension and begin to direct the exhale there. Lengthening, warming, softening. Say the scripture verse. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. What do you need right now? Acknowledging the difference between wants and needs. Trust that God will provide that for you. Invite you to take five more breaths here. Bring your hands to the floor of the mat and gently and slowly begin to press into the mat and rise. And I invite you to bring both of your legs in front of you. Find your sitting bones and for just a moment check in. Notice, how do the feet feel? 
How are the legs rotated? Is there a difference between right and left? Notice the heaviness of the hips, maybe even the posture from hip to shoulder or shoulder to ear. What do you notice? Coming to the other side, using whatever props that you need, maybe getting a drink. Begin to explore, coming forward with that inhale, out with that exhale, or forward with the exhale, up with the inhale. And as you're ready, come forward and settle there. Again, maybe crossing the wrists, and if you can remember which wrist was on top last time, cross the other wrist on top this time. Again, inhaling, finding length in the spine, space between the vertebra. Let the head get heavy, maybe shaking it out, no, and yes. Feel free to make subtle adjustments of the body. But be intentional. This is a great practice to teach stillness, to quiet the mind, to quiet the body. Take four more breaths here. As you're ready, slowly pressing hands into the floor or the mat, guide the body up. Again, I invite you to bring the legs forward to find the sitting bones, to find breath, and to notice left side compared to right. What do you notice? How is the breath moving through the body? Bring the blanket to the front of the mat again. I invite you to come up into child and then onto your belly. Child to table twice. Then come all the way forward, bringing that blanket to the edge of the hips, supporting the torso. And you'll be supporting your head either on your fists or on a block. So you can decide what works better for you. Go ahead and bring this right leg up at 90 degrees. So flex the foot, 
90 degrees at the ankle, flex the knee, 90 degrees here, flex the hip, 90 degrees there. Half lizard pose. Begin to find the pose that works best for you. Can you square your hips towards the mat? Because I'm a little tight, I have a tendency to kind of roll away from this bent leg. You know, can you keep the body weight even on the mat? Say the scripture verse. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I invite you to think back to a time when you were in need. How did God meet that need? And was it what you expected? If you get distracted and thoughts begin to cross your mind that are unrelated to your practice or to Jesus, I invite you to set those thoughts aside for later and come back to the breath. And begin to use the breath to release tension. Take four more breaths here. As you're ready, gently press into your hands and slowly rise and come back to table. Check in here for a breath. Just notice how the body feels. And then I invite you to draw back child to table twice. Come back to your belly. This time it's the left leg that has come up and is bent. Again, that 90 degree angle, ankle, knee, and hip. Adjust the body. Find your pose. Be intentional about where the head is. And if you want that extra stretch, that extra fascia release, go ahead and look away from the knee. Say the scripture verse here. My God will provide all your needs. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory 
in Christ Jesus. I invite you to think about how God has used you to meet the needs of another. What did that experience feel like? How did did God meet your needs in the midst of that? Begin to notice the physical effects of this pose. Are the sensations the same as they were on the other side, or are they different? What do you notice? I invite you to take four more breaths here. Gently begin to press into the mat with your hands. Slowly bring yourself back up, meeting me in table. I invite you once again in table to check in, to notice the effects of that stretch, and to draw back child to table twice. I invite you to move the blanket out to the side to sit down and to bring a a block to your hips. Maybe get a drink of water again. Come on to your back, knees bent. And I invite you to find a supported bridge. So feet on the mat, hip width apart. Go ahead and bring that block underneath the back, above the tailbone, below the spine. It is underneath the sacrum bone. So feel the heaviness of the sacrum bone on the, on the block. Begin to relax the body, the forehead, the cheeks, the jaw. Any tension in the neck. Softening the muscles of the chest. Feeling the weight of the shoulder blades on the mat. Begin to soften the abdominals. 
Feel the tension from the lower back draining into that block. Feel the muscles of the hips melting down the block. Release tension in the limbs, the upper arms, the forearms, the hands, the thighs, the calves, the feet. Can you breathe a little more deeply, a little more fully? Can you say the scripture verse on your own? Take two more deep breaths here. A little longer on that exhale. As you're ready, press into your feet and move that block out of the way, bringing the back to the mat. Stay there for a breath. Just checking in, noticing how the body has settled to the mat. Draw the knees in, feet off the mat, hands onto the knees. Gently draw the knees into the rib cage and away a few times, just restoring a more natural arch to the lower back. Gently extend the legs. Maybe you want that blanket on top of you. I don't know what the temperature is in your house, but right now at my house, it is pretty cold. (laughs) I invite you to stay in Shavasana for another minute at least. We'll stay together here for another minute. One more time, just trusting that God will meet your needs, letting go of the anxiety and the frustration and the worry that comes from believing that you need to provide for yourself. As you trust him to do more than you could imagine, he will respond and meet your needs according to the glories of his riches in Christ Jesus.
I invite you, if you need to get on with your day, to gently come back, finding your breath, noticing the way the body has settled onto the mat. And begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Maybe turn your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. And as you're ready, gently bring your arms up and overhead and reach for one wall, fingers to one wall, toes to the other. Bending your knees, I invite you to come over onto your side and find breath. On that next inhale, press into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. Find your sitting bones and check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. What has changed since you came to the mat today? Noticing also what has stayed the same, accepting it as it is. And then next inhale, arms rise up and overhead, palms together. And exhaling, bring hands to heart, bowing your head, joining me in prayer. God, you know our deepest needs, even those that we tell no one else of. We surrender anxiety and worry and fear. And we hold on to this promise that you alone are enough that you will meet our needs. Jesus, provide everything that we need to thrive so that we can be your light in this world, drawing others into your love. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.